All right, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about the Borask. Now this is a tier 8 French light tank that should be entering the game in the next couple months here. It entered um, testing, I believe, this update. I'm not sure. I, I think so. Uh, don't quote me on that. It might take another update to test. I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this is in testing currently. And yeah, this tank is, let's just say, not what you know you're looking for uh it does have amazing uh alpha for a medium tank at tier 8 320 but it only has two shells and guess the amazing dpm of this tank well you can't see it 1680 dpm on a tier 8 light tank yeah uh, i think you can assume what that's like I mean, 20 second clip reload. Now, I think this tank would actually be good if it had three shells. But the thing is, they're like, okay, it has really good alpha for a light tank. You know, 320 alpha, that's a lot. But it only has two shells. And that's not good at all. I mean, it has a two second intra clip. If it was like a one point, you know, it was like a point seven one second intra clip, it would be much, I think it would be actually okay just to have two shells. Obviously, move that reload down a few seconds like geez that is such a long reload for only 640 burst damage and this tank yeah uh if you cannot tell this tank was just butchered this tank is yeah it is not good on the dpm department at all i mean 1680 is really bad as well penetration is pretty bad 190 millimeters the accuracy uh it's not that good either uh 0.337 uh, dispersion on the tank it only has six degrees of gun depression only a 13 elevation it does have a 60 kilometer an hour forward speed but of course that really doesn't matter when you have zero armor well i mean sorry it doesn't matter. it does matter but it doesn't help that this tank has zero armor i mean yeah there is just nowhere on this tank with good armor i mean the most armor you have is 70 millimeters right there 78 yeah that's like the most armor you have like an angle right here uh, yeah, there's just no armor at all in this tank. It is a massive HE magnet. Uh, and as you can see, 50 millimeters on the side, 56, 40, it is zero armor. So when you combine horrible DPM with zero armor, it really doesn't make a good tank. And I feel like pretty much everyone in the player base is going to struggle to play this tank. Now, what I think they could do to balance this tank is add another shell... So it has what then it would have 860 burst damage at tier 8. That's a good burst damage for like, you know, a super long reload tank. I think just one more shell would absolutely make this tank way better. Um, maybe even lower the reload a little, but that might make it a little bit too OP because I'm not sure what the DPM would be there. I don't want to calculate all that stuff, but it wouldn't be quite as horrific. But yeah, I mean, the Borask, uh, it really should be, I think, a good tank. I mean... Wargaming, let's be honest, recently has not been bidding, putting out the best premium tanks. I mean, the last one we got, Turtle Mark 1, really wasn't that good of a tank. One before it, the Kanonin, really wasn't that good of a tank. One before it, what was the one before that? Uh, I can't remember the one before that, but I don't think it was that good of a tank either. One before that, it really wasn't that good of a tank either. Pretty much all the tanks in the last, like, six months have had nothing for me to want to buy them. I have no reason to buy any of these tanks, so... I don't know why Wargaming keeps putting out these really mediocre to bad tanks. Not that good. Not that enjoyable for most of the player base. I mean, I don't want them putting out OP tanks, but can they at least just balance them uh, where they're decent enough to play? It's not going to break the matchmaking or anything like that. It's almost like Wargaming heard us say, hey, stop making OP tanks. And they're like, all right, we'll make crap tanks now. So, yeah, hopefully, I mean, we'll get some decent premiums out there. I hope they buff this tank. I hope they give it another shell, because it really does need another shell, in my opinion. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for the Brask, everyone. Um, if it does not get buffed, uh, I do not recommend buying this tank, because of course, like all tanks, it will probably, I'm not saying it will be, because I really don't know yet, it will probably be in, in crates, though, which of course, if this does not get buffed, would be, I mean, horrible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.